What is up guys, Randomonium here, and this is a follow-up video on Courage of the Colossus. My initial video was posted when Courage of the Colossus was on the PBE, and uh, now that patch 622 has been out for a little over a week, we now actually have some statistical data uh, for Platinum and above games that I wanted to go through, and I'm going to be analyzing every single champion and the website that I'm using is lolalytics.com. I'll link them in the description below. In my opinion, I think they're the best statistical website out there because they really break down every single different way that you can customize your champion and how that will affect your win percentages. So uh, additionally, it's not a clickbait that I have Riven up here with Courage of the Colossus. Uh, there are some really surprising things. Uh, some really surprising champions that are doing well with Courage of the Colossus, and uh, you'll have to stay tuned to see what all those champions are. But first, let's go through uh, the champions that cannot use Courage of the Colossus. These are the champions that do not have any form of hard CC in their kits, and if you choose Courage of the Colossus on these champions, you're essentially trolling your team. So these are my don't troll champions, uh, because a couple people got a little bit confused by the different grades that I gave champions in my last video. So now I've renamed uh, some of these categories. So these are my Don't Troll champions, and they are Akali, Dr. Mundo, Evelyn, Ezreal, Gangplank, Garen, Graves, Alawi, Karthus, Kassadin, Katarina, Kale, Kha'Zix, Kindred, Kogma, Lucian, Master Yi, Misfortune, Mordekaiser, Nasus, Nidalee, Nunu, Olaf, Sivir, Talon, Timo, Trindamir, Twitch, Vladimir, Yorick, and Zed. So do not take Courage of Colossus with these champions. Next up, we have our champions that are our no data champions. These are champions that can use Courage of the Colossus, but no one at Platinum and above is actually playing these champions with, with Courage of the Colossus. So I really can't speak to whether or not uh, Courage of the Colossus is good on these champions. Those are Ari, Anivia, Annie, Ash, Aurelian Soul, Azir, Brand, Caitlyn, Cassiopeia, Corky, Draven, Fiora, Fizz, Jin, Jinx, Jace, Callista, Kennen, LeBlanc, Lysandra, Lux, Malzahar, Oriana, Quinn, Syndra, Talia, Tristana, Twisted Fate, Varys, Vane, Vigar, Velkaz, Victor, Zerath, Ziggs, and Zyra. I have Kennen and Lysandra in gold because these are two champions that I actually thought were going to be decent with Courage of the Colossus. Now, there might actually be certain team comps or certain builds or certain ways of playing those two champions where Courage of the Colossus might be a good idea. Uh, I guess I'm wrong. I'm not a main on either of those two champions. I still think that it, they might be viable. So if you are a main for Kennen or Lissandra, I'd love to get your thoughts on Curves of the Colossus and whether you think uh, it could be viable with Kennen or Lissandra. Okay, so let's get into the meat of uh, this video. And these are the champions that we actually have statistical data for. So um, I'm going to run through how the columns work, and then I'll talk about why uh, these champions are named the Participation Trophy Champions. So on the left-hand column, we've got the champion. In the parentheses, we have the ability that you can use that will proc Courage of the Colossus. The second column is the difference in win percentage between those who go Courage of the Colossus vice people who go the keystone to the right of it, which is the best keystone to take on that champion, or it is the uh, second best keystone to take if Courage of the Colossus is the best keystone for that champion. For the differences column, if the uh, number is in red, that means that it's, uh, Courage of the Colossus has a worse win rate, and if the number is in green, that means Courage of the Colossus has a better win rate than the other champion. Then we've got the play rate and the win rate. The uh, play rate and win rate in blue are for Courage of the Colossus, and the play rate and win rate in gold are for the keystone in the center of your screen. So I hope that makes sense to all of you guys. These are the participation trophy champions. Uh, and these champions, there are people who are using uh, Courage of the Colossus on these champions, but statistically, Courage of the Colossus is not as good as another keystone on these champions. So you can see like Echo, for example, uh, he's only got a 45.1% win, win rate uh, with Courage of the Colossus, but he's got a 50% win rate with uh, Thunderlord's Decree. And you can see that only 4% of people in Platinum and above are using Courage of the Colossus on Echo, while 68% 
uh, of people are using Thunderlord's Decree on Echo. And you can see some very similar things for Elise, Fiddlesticks. Fiddlesticks can actually use Thunderlord's Decree or he can use Deathfire Touch. And they actually both have similar win rates. Um, and in both cases, uh, Courage of Colossus is worse than the other two. You've got Heimerdinger, uh, Ivern, which I was actually really surprised about. Um, and it's actually surprising because if you go Courage of the Colossus on Ivern, you've got a 52% chance to win. But if you go Wind Speakers, you actually have a 54.7% chance to win. So it's not necessarily that Courage of the Colossus is bad on Ivern. It's just that Wind Speakers Blessing is actually it's just better. So um, it's not really, I wouldn't say it's wrong to go Courage of the Colossus on Ivern, but you should probably try out Wind Speakers Blessing as well. We've also got Janna and Karma. 1% of people are playing uh, Curves of the Colossus on those two champions. Uh, and then statistically, it's not very good. You've also got Kled. Uh, Fervor of Battle is definitely the better choice on him. Additionally, we've also got Lulu, Nami, Pantheon, Rengar, Rise, Shaco, Asona, and Soraka. You can see the play rate on all of these champions is between 1% and 4% for Curves of the Colossus. And in all of these cases... Uh, you're taking a pretty large hit to your win rate if you use Courage of the Colossus over one of these other masteries. And then finally, the last three champions that get the participation trophy for Courage of the Colossus are Swain, Tom Kench, and Urgot. So uh, I actually thought Urgot was going to be really good, but Thunderlords is uh, beating out Courage of the Colossus pretty heavily. Uh, 48.7% to 45.7%. <coughs> that might change uh, as the meta shifts. I'm not sure. And the other one, Tom Kench, Grasp of the Undying is favored over um, Courage of the Colossus. But if you have to choose between Courage of the Colossus and Bond of Stone, Courage of the Colossus is actually better than Bond of Stone. So it, I think that what's skewing these results is people who are playing uh, top lane Tom Kench. So those people normally go grasp and that actually has a higher win rate. But if you go support Tom Kench, it might be more favorable to go courage of the Colossus. Okay. The next group of champions I have are my champions where the verdicts out. And these are the champions where the win rate is almost identical. Uh, but in a lot of these cases, the play rate using Courage of the Colossus is much lower than the play rate using another mastery. So I definitely think you might want to try out these champions, but you, you probably are going to be better off going um, the more popular keystone. It'll be more consistent. There might be certain builds or certain play styles where uh, Courage of the Colossus is better, but if you're just kind of a casual player of these champions, you probably want to go with the more traditional Keystone Mastery. And those are actually surprisingly Bard, Cho'Gath, Diana, Irelia, who you can see has actually the first positive uh, win rate um, so far out of all the champions. So that means that she has, if you go Curve to the Colossus on Irelia, you have a 1.2% higher win percentage than if you go Fervor. So that's 52.8% uh, win percentage by 51.6% if you go Fervor. Uh, Jarvan, Lee Sin, Morgana, and Malphite. Malphite is actually almost dead even, 51.8% uh, to 52.1% if you go Curves, Courage of the Colossus, Vice, Grasp of the Undying. Uh, Nocturne actually has a positive win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus over Thunderlords. Shen has a positive win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus instead of Grasp of the Undying. Shivana is literally dead even, 47.9% to 47.9%. If some of the buffs on the PBE go through, I could actually see Courage of the Colossus being superior to Fervor. So definitely uh, check that out. It really is going to be dependent upon whether you can land your knockback on your R for if you want to go uh, Courage of the Colossus on Shivana. Tarek has a slightly lower win rate with uh, Courage of the Colossus and Wind Speakers, but both of his win rates are positive at 51.4 and 51.7% respectively. Uh, Trundle, pretty much every single mastery people are trying out on Trundle. Um, and he, he's pretty decent with um, 
with Courage of the Colossus, 12% of people are playing him. He's got a 48.4% win rate with Courage of the Colossus, and then the most popular one is Grasp of the Undying at 48.7% win rate. And then also um, Warwick, another champion that has a positive win rate with uh, Courage of the Colossus, 1.3% higher with Courage of the Colossus than Fervor of Battle. And then uh, we've also got Wukong and Yasuo, who are also neck and neck with um, Courage of the Colossus, and then their more popular masteries. Surprisingly, Fervor of Battle actually has a higher win percentage on Yasuo than Warlord's Blood Loss. And that has to do with the changes that now instead of giving on hit damage, it now gives you bonus AD, which actually really favors Yasuo. And the final champion that actually uh, has almost an equal win rate is Zillion, surprisingly. Uh, Zillion has a 52.9% win rate with Courage of the Colossus, vice a 52.7% win rate with Thunderlord's Decree. So uh, that was very surprising to me. Uh, however, only 3% of Zillion players in Platinum and above are using Courage of the Colossus, vice the 74% of people who are going with Thunderlord's Decree. Next up, we have our Undisputed Champion uh, champions. These are the champions that you want to go um, Courage of the Colossus on these champions. Like, statistically, you are going to have a much better win rate, and then also the vast majority of people in Platinum and above are using Courage of the Colossus uh, on these champions. And those champions are Alistar, Amumu, Gragas, Hecarim, who actually has a 54.7% win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus. Uh, two percentage points higher than Storm Raider Surge. Leona, with a pretty impressive uh, win rate. Maokai, Nautilus, and Poppy. And if you actually look at a lot of these champions, the win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus is greater than 50%. And the win rate, if you don't go Courage of the Colossus, is actually less than 50%. So if you are a main of one of these champions, going Courage of the Colossus could be the difference between you climbing or you actually getting demoted. Uh, other undisputed uh, champions are Ramus, Rek'Sai, with a difference in uh, win rate of 4.8%. So 50.8% if you go Courage of the Colossus, only 45.9% if you go Thunderlord's Decree. Sejuani, Scion, which actually didn't have, he didn't have as high a uh, difference as I would have expected. It's only a 1.6% difference, um, but he's got a 54.3% win rate with Courage of the Colossus. Then we've also got Skarner Thresh, who surprisingly is uh, beating out uh, Thunderlord's Decree over uh, Courage of the Colossus. And then Udyr and Vi. And then the last two champions that we have uh, are Volibear and Zack, who also have positive win rates with Courage of the Colossus and negative win rates with other Keystone Masteries. So you definitely want to go Courage of the Colossus on those two champions. And finally, um, if you guys have been paying attention, you'll realize that I am missing quite a few champions. And that's because there are some Dark Horse champions. These are champions that um, only a minority of players are using Courage of the Colossus on them. But the people who are using Courage of the Colossus have a much higher win rate than those who don't use Courage of the Colossus on these champions. And I'm going to go into a lot more detail with these champions. The first one is Aatrox, surprisingly. 8% of people are using Courage of the Colossus on Aatrox, and they have a 49.4% win rate. Vice a 47.1% win rate if you go Fervor of Battle. Next up is Blitzcrank. This one actually is a lot closer. It's 22% play rate, vice 40% play rate. Um, but you actually have a 2.6% higher win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus. After that, we've got Braum. This is also another very close one, and it's a pretty small gap, 1.5% difference between uh, Courage of the Colossus and Bond of Stone. But it is a difference that makes it positive win rate, 50.3%, vice negative win rate, which is 48.8% with Bond of Stone. The next champion is Darius, and this was incredibly surprising to me. Only 10% of people are using Courage of the Colossus on Darius, but those who use it 
have a 55.7% win rate. That's absurd. I mean, when you compare that to the 51.1% win rate that you get if you, you go graspily dying on Darius, uh, I definitely think you should try out Courage of the Colossus on Darius and let me know what you guys think. We've also got Galio. Galio's ultimate uh, works very well with Courage of the Colossus, and you've actually got a 2.4% higher win rate with Courage of the Colossus over Thunderlords. And also, you have a higher win rate with Courage of the Colossus than you would with uh, Deathfire, if you go Deathfire Touch on Galio as well. This next one was really surprising, Gnar. I actually thought that Gnar was not going to be that great with um, Courage of the Colossus, but his win rate is uh, over 2 percentage points higher than if he goes Fervor of Battle. It's still negative for both Courage of the Colossus and Fervor of Battle, but you're getting close to that 50% win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus on Gnar. Jax is another one of those champions where if you go Courage of the Colossus, we're seeing a positive win rate, 52.5%, vice a negative win rate, 49.6%. So, um, yeah, Jax is definitely another one of those champions that you might want to check out. It's almost, almost a 3 percentage point difference between Courage of the Colossus and Fervor. Uh, another really sleeper OP champion with Courage of the Colossus is Renekton. Renekton, only about 19% of people are using Courage of the Colossus on Renekton, and he has a 54.7% win rate with Courage of the Colossus. Vice only a 50.5% win rate if you go Fervor of Battle, which is the most popular mastery on him. And then finally, the last three, which I, I found incredibly surprising, Riven, with a 54.9% win rate with Courage of the Colossus. Only 6% of Riven players at Platinum and above are using Courage of the Colossus on her, but they have an extreme advantage, over 4% uh, win rate difference. So 54.9% vice 50.6%. Uh, between Courage of the Colossus and Thunderlord's Decree. The next one, Singed, a 55% win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus. Vice, a 52.9% win rate if you go Deathfire Touch. So I know a lot of Singed mains have been, have been drooling over this, but incredibly high win rate for Singed if he goes Courage of the Colossus. And the final champion, Zin Zhao, uh, has almost a 3% higher win rate if you go Courage of the Colossus by his Fervor of Battle, but only about 10% of people are picking up Courage of the Colossus on Zin Zhao. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely encourage you guys to try out uh, Courage of the Colossus on any of these Dark Horse champions if you are a main, if one of those champions is your main. Um, I got all of my statistics from lolalytics.com. These statistics are updated daily, so the, the statistics that are on the website right now might be slightly different than the ones that I have in my video, but I did uh, verify all of my, my stats right before I posted this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please give this uh, video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. If you want to get more content, if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out as well. I hope you all have a great day. This is Randmonium signing off.